instead. Looking like it will be, you know, more for that late game, trying to draft towards that team fight, you know, utilize this as your opportunity to go to the bottom half of the map. They'll grab the Cloud Drake, and that is a nice early pickup there for them. Coming back into the meta uh, as he's going up mostly against tank junglers and big all in here, Ole. Good lord, man. Ole is combo and all autos were weaved in by Smoothie, you know, for the, the loose kind of spark there. The Ooh, contract stepping a little bit too far forward. Going to be found out there. A nice bull means Smoothie's going to find the second kill of the game here for TSM. Yeah, they were not expecting him up here. Now Bjergsen, Froggen's going to be shuffled back right towards TSM now as well. The egg will only delay the inevitable, and TSM are 3-0. TSM, Rear right. One versus five. Rest He's just peace. waiting for death to come for him. Good night, sweet friends. TSM finding number four. Yeah, but in the meantime, their two members cough get the first turret. It's five bot for TSM. Trundle is pushing mid, so Golden Guardians is actually getting a decent pick back with this. They may come out ahead on the play, despite losing the one man. It's double teleport and definitely, uh, what are you doing up I there? Have no idea why I definitely stuck around that long. Acadian waiting for the spell shield to go away, making sure he gets the pull. It's exactly how you play Skarner against Sivir, and that's absolutely no reason to go for that. When chasing down Ace, Five, they're down 2,000 gold. Haunter's not too afraid just yet, though. Contract's gonna be moving up there with him. They're looking to start the fight onto Acadian. It is a two versus three, but it's a fight they're still not afraid to take. Reset. Acadian's gonna fall. That's the reset there from Haunter. Really strong top lane, and they will be able to knock down this mid lane turret. Gold's still very close to on the bottom side, and you can see all these wards. Uh, being placed down here as a result. You know, pink ward here, top lane tier one turret. What many consider to be the least important turret on the map. So, so annoying, and uh, they are going to get a splash as a result. This is one of the things that I always feel like separates uh, the good Anivia players from the great. And here we go. That's going to be an initiation coming out from the side oh, of the Golden Guardian. And, and Bjergsen just gets knocked down. This will mean Infernal goes the way of Golden Guardians, but yeah, the great Anivia is the show in bottom lane. There is a potential that they can just start up the Baron, but right now it's TSM trying to make a collapse here. This has turned into quite a juxtaposition as Froggen is now going to find himself caught out. Mid laners out of position, the name of the mid game here, as Golden Guardians will lose their mid laner. They will lose that wave clear. Definitely will do what he can, but they will not hold on to the tier one mid lane turret. And that's a big move for TSN. Yeah, that is really big, because they can actually in right. their engages if either team messes up. Big stun, though. Now it's going to start off here. We're going to see Smoothie going into the stasis here. Immediately, Zven also going to be keeping himself alive just for a moment. Smoothie taken down, also going to be Ole traded away. TSM on the retreat. Acadian's going to oh, be taken down. Sir. Hunter's popping off! The wings of death fly through the TSM back lines! And it's a... Creating so much of the action for them with these initiations from the Anivia. The Anivia setting up the plays. Hauntzer will build that number even higher, pushing down the bottom lane. Four men strong here, seeing if they can take this to the TSM base. Tier 3 is going to be under siege. TSM, not enough bodies here in time, Azale, and Golden Guardians will put a lot of damage into this turret. Might even be able to take it down. Yeah, I think they're just going to get this one. I mean, Froggen's sitting at over 600 AP with three items, and they're going to go in. Acadian goes in. He grabs the enemy support, but he sacrifices himself for it. This is Froggen. what I was talking about early on, Azale. One frontliner. If he messes up, all of a sudden, the engage is gone. The ability to start these things off is gone. Contracts and Froggen continuing to look for more. They're able to find Smoothie and take him out. But it will be a one for one there. Deathly Haunter and Froggen now going to be pressuring onto the tier three into the mid lane as well. Froggen in some trouble. Critical positioning error will be heavily punished. And Bjergsen takes a triple. Yeah, Golden Guardian's going to get wiped off the map. He gets caught out. Yeah. Bjergsen with a triple kill, who is seven. He gets caught away from the team, but he's on Froggen. He's at the back line. Froggen's going to be suppressed, pulled back towards TSM. Golden Guardian's looking to turn the fight right back around. Acadian going to be taken very low. Hauntzer takes him down, and now he's gone to Reset City. He'll go into the resurrection. Contracts nearly killed himself. Definitely free firing into the TSM lines, but he's going to be taken low, and Bjergsen is dominating. Two dead on the side of the Golden Guardians. Winning. Going in, knocking down multiple members at the end of that fight. Bjergsen, so strong at this point in the game, and definitely really felt like he had the strength to clean up that fight. He's on his three items, but now they are getting 
pushed in. They will lose at least one inhibitor. Contrax is doing the dragon at this point. So he will be able to trade the dragon back. Remember, the Baron is spawning here pretty looking. Short. Now they're starting off. Bjergsen has to flash over the wall to keep himself alive. Haunter. Oh, they're still going to make it happen. You bring Bjergsen down, you're going to win yourself the game. But Haunter's now the one who's going to be targeted. He has to flash out, but he's taken down. TSM have found a huge fight. The Golden Guardians bite off way more than they can chew, and they'll be absolutely annihilated. They get shredded, but Froggen trying to turn this around. Look at the damage for Froggen. Oh, but now it's nothing but a sunny side up breakfast on the side brush of the red pit. That's Ben going on another kill for himself. Contracts healing up in the brush. Not really a match for Broken Blade 1v1, or maybe he is. Broken Blade trying to put some damage back down onto him. He's gonna Contracts him. should be able to take him down here, and I am found wrong in my analysis. The Trundle takes down that Jace. And now Skarner versus Trundle, 1v1. Skarner building full tank, not on a Skarner fire. He's got fire. the Warmox, he's This is not up. a fight that Skarner wins. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that out there. Trundle is the one who wins this fight, but not unless he's alone. The only way you can win this is if you're fighting Skarner fair, and TSM is not about a fair fight. They'll look to hand this one over to Zvan, put more money in the hands of the AD <laughs> carry, but contracts will waste as much. To give up this Baron, they are in the area here, but Broken Blade, the traps. The yep. traps mean that Golden Guardians have no Caitlyn as well, and it might be what this team needs to push them into the Golden Guardians. And I think is is Ven really to move towards these battle lines drawn by TSM, and TSM will take. You told me about it. You were laughing about how much gross stuff you voted to put in the smoothie. It's like, All right, come back on, to the man. game. All right, back to the smoothie on our screens, and the rest of TSM breaking open the base here in the bottom lane. Golden Guardians will have to find their fight here soon. Otherwise, TSM will just run over these inhibitors, but you've got to respect the power of that Elder Drake. Yeah, I think they might actually just try to be waiting it out, right? You try to wave clear as much as you can. Baron's almost gone. Broken uh, Blade, forced to flash over the wall. Bjergsen now retreating, almost able to take down that mid lane inhibitor. Yeah, so no Baron buff anymore, so you can wave clear this out instantly. Golden Guardians want to actually avoid a fight. There's a minute left on the on the Elder, but they're uh, going to win Golden now. Guardians aren't going to be avoiding much of anything when they go fishing and land themselves a big one. Acadian taken out. But now Ole is incredibly low in the HP department. Got to be concerned about that kill. one. Redemption coming in. Ole will be topped off a little bit from that one. Hauntzer wants to approach from the top. However, there's no way into the fight when TSM can so easily disengage. Acadian's the one guy you can really seek your fangs into. He's the one melee member. Everybody else will maintain distance and continue to do this. With Sven. TSM just looking to out macro. That's going to be a four shot on the inhibitor turret. They'll take down the inhib itself. Golden Guardian struggling to rotate around and answer this in any capacity. Froggen's on the side. Contracts all alone in the jungle. He's going to be found out. Pulled back by Acadia, taken down by Sven. And that is Baron guaranteed to TSM. Sven already there as well. They knocked down the inhibitor almost instantly, and Contracts, you know, is Hunter still committing to this. Hauntzer trying to go forward. Sven is the target. Hauntzer still looking to find a little bit more damage on him. That's going to be a big pick if Golden Guardians are able to find it and secure the damage. Hauntzer looking to go even further. Broken now Acadian is going to be the target, though. but Broken Blade is in the base of the Golden Guardians. Frog going to be the one trying to stop him. Needs to find the stun. Broken Blade's nearly able to take him down. Oh! Oh! Frogan with the clean out play for oh! now. Smoothie's the only one from TSM, even in the area. There will be no contest for this aside from a laser. Golden Guardians, very glad to see that one. Here's the trap set up. Here's Bjergsen sitting on his tower, and Golden Guardians look like they want to get Bjergsen. Ole's going to engage, but it's only onto Acadian. That's the frontliner. That's the one guy you don't want to be Sivir's engaging on to. You have no AD carry. Your support well, is. Anyway, Sivir was not there. This is going to be yet another Baron going the way of TSM, and they will have this Baron buff for when the second Elder spawns again. Third Elder of the game, but they're actually looking like they want to fight. Uh, be careful. Golden Guardians trying to go for something here. Froggen flashing away from Acadian, keeping himself from getting grabbed. Haunter looking for some damage onto Bjergsen there in the back line. Golden Guardians still looking to maybe take the fight even further. Froggen's going to be taken low, gets himself away. Golden Guardians disengaging now, still 14 seconds before oh, Ole is back fight. alive. But here comes the Burger King around from behind. The Golden Guardians find themselves routed. Frog 
Gorgons are going to be taken very low. Goes into the egg now. They'll have to try to protect him. Golden Guardians grouped up, trying to play protect the president. The VIP is down. And Bjergsen will again find his mark. Broken Blade kills contracts. And the Golden Guardians stand 3v5, 2v5, 1v5. TSM chasing into the base. Definitely the last man standing, and Sven will keep him in the fountain. TSM are on the victory march after 49 minutes, the longest game of summer split. TSM will take down the Golden Guardians. And what a performance by...